cause for many animals to lose their habitats. In small groups, we have researched an animal of our choice and made a project based on that animal. We got to choose between the diorama, poster, trifold, or brochure. In our groups, we learned about the impact and how we could save the save wildlife. Please enjoy. This is a mountain gorilla. We researched this animal because it is endangered. There are only about 1,063 left in Uganda. They're, they live in high tropical forests in the Virjunga Mountains. They, they're... The Isawan gorilla is an endangered animal with less than 6,000 left. This is caused by poaching, disease, and habitat destruction. One of the ways you can help them from being endangered is by recycling the old electronics. Did you know some of the resources used to make your... The island tigers are found in Indonesia. Do you know that they can run 65 kilometers an hour? A sad fact is that there's only about 400 left in the wild. If they go extinct, the whole ecosystem could fall. They're going extinct because of poaching and habitat loss. Orangutans are a common known animal. But would you believe me if I said orangutans are, on, are an endangered species? Only 50,000 to 65,000 are left, but 2,000 to 3,000 dead a year because of humans and humans only. Companies clear rainforests so they can plant palm oil trees which drive them out of their homes and could kill their orangutans in the process. It also leaves them wide open for poaching, but we can help by protesting and donating to local sanctuaries. With support and action being taken, we can save them from going extinct. What can be done about this? Let's see. Deforestation is a big threat to orangutans. Their forest gets cleared for agriculture, road development, and oil palm plantations. Oil palm plantations are the biggest threat to habitat loss for orangutans. The green sea turtles have many inspiring aspects to it. For starters, female green sea turtles are mothers to many hatchlings. The reason is that she will lay 100 eggs or more in a single visit to the beach. Another interesting fact is that the temperature of the sand will determine the gender of the turtle. Also, did you know that the hatchlings will use the moonlight's reflection on the water as a beacon? The habitat of the green sea turtle is mostly worldwide, normally in tropical areas like the Pacific and, and Atlantic Oceans. Us humans impacts them and their lives severely. We litter non-biodegradable items like plastic, rubber, and many more everyday items. We hunt them for their shells and eggs, and we pollute the waters that they live in with oils and chemicals. They get caught in fishing gear and nets. We should participate in beach cleanups to help the hatchlings have a clear path to the water. Sea otters live in coastal waters normally less than half a mile from the shore. They love rocky beaches, barriers, and reefs. And Dense kelp forests. Sea otters can be found in California, Washington, Canada, Alaska, Russia, and Japan. Oil spills also affect them. Otters can accidentally ingest the oil and they can die. If you want to help them, reuse, reduce, and recycle. If you do this, it lessens pollution and helps other animals. Also, try walking more instead of driving. You can, you can also, if you can only drive car. These sloths are the rarest sloths in the world. There are only 100 left. They are critically endangered and live on the small island of Isla Ecuto de Veraguas. They live on the trees called red mangroves. People and logging. People are logging and chopping down their trees, littering them on the island and hunting the sloths. It is driving the adorable piggy sloths to extinction. But if you can't plant trees and stop littering, we can save this adorable species. We have been learning about the African forest elephants and how deforestation affects their everyday life. African forest elephants suffer a lot because of us humans impacting their habitat by poaching, farming, agriculture, and construction. Even though all those things are good and useful for us humans, it is a big impact to the lives of a lot of animals not only these elephants. How can we help these elephants? There are many things that we cannot fix, such as farming and construction. But what we can stop is poaching, littering, and much, much more. Remember that everything that you do makes an impact on animals, so remember to make good choices. The piece of paper you discard can harm a Draco lizard's home. Well, that's the reality of what's going on in the world.
These flying reptiles have been greatly impacted by deforestation for being, oops, for example, cutting down trees for human uses such as wood can be turned into paper and buildings. You can help this by doing several things. Some simple ways of deforest, no, <laughs> to reduce deforestation are use less paper and wood products, plant more trees, recycle materials that are unused or on only one of like boxes. Project, we wanted to have pictures and writing. Some people did clay sculptures, but we decided to make a trifle because it would represent the panda the best. We researched about panda's habitat, the background, and back. Here are some cool facts we found about the panda. Habitat has been the main driver, though the species has been hunted in the past for its fur. Some things about the panda's habitat would be like the forest relies on them and they rely on the bamboo forest. Pandas are one of the cutest animals. They also are China's national animal. Pandas are still suffering from habitat loss now that humans are using too much them. Red pandas are endangered because some people hug them for their pelts to make hats and jackets. Anyone found hunting red pandas are fined up to $10,000 or 10 years in jail. There are only about 2,500 to 10,000 red pandas left. What is happening to the red pandas habitat? Researchers believe that the total population of red pandas has declined by 40% over the past two decades. How can we help? You can get involved by taking part in ecotourism. The WWF is also working to protect red pandas and their habitats. What are they learning about the polar bears that are endangered and why? Let's start off by saying why they're endangered. Polar bears are endangered because of climate and winter change. During the summertime, when it's warm, polar bears try to save their energy and avoid long distance from traveling. Another reason is because of starvation. One way we can help is by encouraging people to bike or to walk to school so our gas doesn't pollute the polar bears. Thank you for listening to our 